With numerous Miraculouses saturating the world of Miraculous Ladybug, it's a surprise that their powers have only faced exploitation for a single season. At the start of Season 5, nearly every Miraculous from the Chinese Miracle Box became a pawn for Monarch's ultimate goal of stealing the remaining two, the Ladybug and Cat from Paris' Heroes. Throughout the episode Evolution, he can't use multiple powers at once without putting his health at risk. Gabriel and Tomoe work together to make the Alliance rings to overcome this setback. They create engaging television ads to encourage a mass market for the rings so that people worldwide wear them within a matter of weeks. In Paris, Gabriel uses the rings to transfer the powers of a Miraculous to his akumatized villains. With this new ability, nearly every Miraculous gets used for evil at least once throughout the season. In today's video, we're reviewing how every Miraculous was and could have evil purposes. Miss Hound! Rooster Bolt! Kid. Number 1. The Ladybug Miraculous With Marinette existing as the main hero and character of Miraculous Ladybug, it's difficult to imagine her Miraculous becoming used for nefarious purposes. Marinette rarely strays from making moral decisions throughout the series because she always does her best to protect Paris as Ladybug. However, the recent special Miraculous World Paris introduced an alternate version of Marinette known as Shadybug. Shadybug uses the Ladybug Miraculous to torment Paris and the heroes as she pushes past her limits to create lucky charms of her choice. Her creation abilities allow the Ladybug Miraculous to make weapons, from rocket launchers to giant hammers, capable of seriously harming people and objects. Spots on? Whoa, what is happening? Number 2. The Cat Miraculous with the power of destruction under its control, the Cat Miraculous has plenty of potential for evil. If the Miraculous ever fell into the wrong hands, it could cause the end of the world. Plague himself, as revealed in Style Queen, caused the extinction of the dinosaurs and Atlantis. Adrian has also become akumatized in the Cat Blanc alternate timeline, where Gabriel forces him to use his powers of destruction for nefarious purposes. As Cat Blanc, Adrian manages to destroy Paris and Ladybug with an enhanced cataclysm. An alternate version of him, known as Claw Noir, appears in Miraculous World Paris, and he has no problem using the Cat Miraculous to destroy everything around him. Oh, is the itty bitty kitty scared he might hurt me with his cute little claws? Number 3. The Fox Miraculous the Fox Miraculous has a history of getting used by villains and heroes alike. While Rena Rouge uses her powers of illusion to protect her teammates from enemies, Lila has had a personal connection to the Fox Miraculous since she pretended to wield it as the villain Volpina. In Season 5, Lila receives the power of the Fox Miraculous for real in Revelation. She uses its illusions to manipulate the people throughout Paris to believe her lies and do her bidding. Most notably, she manages to outmaneuver and steal information from Gabriel while utilizing the powers of the Fox Miraculous. Any villain with the Miraculous can create fantasies so believable that they could influence the minds of hundreds. What is that thing? I am not a thing. Number 4. The Turtle Miraculous the most likely reason that Master Fu chose to wield the Turtle Miraculous for a century is that it has significant protective properties. He could use the Miraculous to keep the Miracle Box from outside forces, either by fighting villains as the hero, Jade Turtle, or placing it inside a shelter. Nino takes up his mantle as the wielder of the Turtle Miraculous and uses its shields to keep his teammates safe. However, these protective barriers can have a secondary purpose. In the episode Revolution, Tomoe's security robots use the Turtle Miraculous to trap Ladybug and Cat Noir. The Miraculous can be used as an impenetrable prison, locking people inside shelters for extended periods. You're not really replacing me with a turtle, are you? Number 5. The Bee Miraculous Unfortunately, the Bee Miraculous has a long history of being used with unfavorable ambitions. Instead of always using the Bee Miraculous to stop villains in their tracks, Chloe Bourgeois has utilized its paralyzing power to overtake Paris in one fell swoop. The episode Miracle Queen finds Chloe as she joins forces with Hawk Moth, becoming an akumatized villain with her usual Miraculous under her control. While the Bee Miraculous can't create obedient armies as Miracle Queen does, it can prevent anyone, including heroes, from taking protective measures against dangerous opponents. Use it well, my queen. Sting them. Number 6. The Snake Miraculous Marinette and Gabriel have accredited Viperion as one of the most difficult heroes to fight. Their shared opinion comes from the Snake Miraculous's ability to reverse time in five-minute intervals. 
Viperion uses the Miraculous to protect his allies and find solutions to challenging problems, even if it means revisiting a situation a hundred times. Unfortunately, time reversal is a skill as valuable to the heroes as it is to villains. In Intuition, Gabriel uses the Snake Miraculous to alter a fight with the Akumatized Bugfighter. His failing health eventually causes him to give up, but if a villain uses the Snake Miraculous enough times, they may find the key to defeating Ladybug and Cat Noir. Your power is now mine! Second chance! Number 7. The Dragon Miraculous The Dragon Miraculous has immense potential to harm others. With the ability to harness the elements in a storm, the Dragon Miraculous could allow someone to be the walking incarnate of a natural disaster. It's one of the few Miraculouses with more than one power, and each of them could destroy a city. In the hands of a true villain, it could cause a flood, tornado, or fatal lightning strikes. The episode Perfection shows Kagami when she's akumatized and given these storm powers, allowing her to become a towering storm cloud. Number 8. The Horse Miraculous As one of the most versatile Miraculouses, the Horse Miraculous has a variety of uses, one in the hands of the hero. Pegasus can transport allies, move civilians to safety, and provide a quick escape when a villain becomes too dangerous. When used by someone who doesn't care about the safety of others, the Horse Miraculous can become a vessel for quick movement, to ambush innocent people, place the heroes in an undesirable location, or launch relentless attacks. In Migration, Bob Roth does all of the above when using the Horse Miraculous to hunt down Luca, attack Cat Noir, and transport his records into space. Hey, no fair! I can't play both cat and mouse! <laughs> Number 9. The Monkey Miraculous The Monkey Miraculous would benefit a villain who has loose morals. Its ability to counter or upset someone else's powers and abilities should make it a complicated power to wield. King Monkey can use the Miraculous to tip the balance of a fight, like when he renders a villain incapable of using their powers in Party Crasher. However, if a villain wants to throw caution to the wind, he could use the Monkey Miraculous to incite citywide chaos. The episode Derision showcases this potential as Dark Humor uses the Miraculous to create cruel, unpractical jokes and alter Ladybug's lucky charms. Hey, wait a sec! King Monkey loves to party too! <laughs> Number 10. The Mouse Miraculous there is power in numbers, and that's precisely why the Mouse Miraculous gets utilized in episodes like Mega Leech. When a villain has an army at their command, the heroes can use the Mouse Miraculous to even their numbers and tip the balance of the fight in their favor. However, villains can use the Miraculous for the very same purpose. More importantly, they could use the sheer force of number that the Miraculous provides them to overpower and outnumber the heroes, as Akari does and does in Multiplication. Number 11. The Tiger Miraculous When faced with a difficult battle or strong opponents, the Tiger Miraculous will give their wielders the upper hand in a pinch. For example, Purple Tigress keeps two villains at bay by using her supercharged punch against them in Crocodile. Unfortunately, in the wrong hands, the Tiger Miraculous could easily overpower a hero or two if they aren't careful. Its sheer force and power could also help someone level buildings or create large craters in the ground, bringing ruin to Paris. Hey there, I'm Cat Noir, and you are... I'm a purple tigress. Number 12. The Pig Miraculous It's hard to imagine that the Pig Miraculous could have negative consequences. Its super ability, called Gift, can allow someone to see an image of their deepest desire. For the heroes, this unique skill could help someone stay motivated or keep calm during a stressful situation. However, there can be too much of a good thing, and that's how a villain could exploit the positive powers of the Pig Miraculous. As Darker Owl does in Jubilation, Someone could use the Pig Miraculous to keep anyone in a mindless, passive state, bribing them into complacency by placing their desires in arm's reach. Gift! Number 13. The Ox Miraculous Invulnerability is a timeless superpower that heroes and villains can't get enough of. With resistance to withstand any attack, a villain wouldn't use the Ox Miraculous to protect others as Minotaur Ox would. Instead, they would use it to stand against their enemies without fear, making them more dangerous and unpredictable. In the episode Determination, the villain Manipula takes the mayor hostage because she knows that because she wields the Ox Miraculous's power, there's very little that Ladybug and Cat Noir can do to stop her. Hi, I'm Stump. Let's add some muscle to this game. What if I hurt someone using my superpowers? Number 14. The Rooster Miraculous 
The Rooster Miraculous' power of sublimation certainly felt overpowered when it appeared for the first time in Penal Team. A hero is trustworthy enough to give themselves the power or skill necessary to solve the problem that's at hand, like how Rooster Bold allows himself to score every goal while playing soccer. Unfortunately, villains could use this ability for any situation because it's not limited to superpowers and extends to skills. In the episode Revolution, Chloe uses the Rooster Miraculous while being the temporary mayor of Paris. You're too hard on yourself. You're more talented than you realize. Number 15, The Goat Miraculous. Similarly to the Ladybug Miraculous, the Goat Miraculous allows its wielder to summon any object without magical properties. Its power has immeasurable uses and benefits, as it could create weapons, tools, or other objects needed to help in a crisis. Unfortunately, such a power in the hands of a villain can go wrong, like when Natalie uses the Miraculous and Passion to create a chest of hunting equipment to help her track Ladybug and Cat Noir, and harness multiple other Miraculouses at once. With a villain as strategic as Natalie, the Goat Miraculous has the potential to make limitless objects, like her hunting equipment capable of defeating heroes or controlling others. What good would a hunter be without the equipment of her choice? Genesis! Number 16, The Dog Miraculous. A notable episode in Miraculous Ladybug shows how a villain should use the dog Miraculous. Felix shocked everyone when he used the Miraculous to steal Ladybug's yo-yo in the episode Strike Back. With a single act, he manages to take all the Miraculouses within the Miracle Box to make a deal with Gabriel. The final scenes of Season 4 perfectly show how a force of good can be exploited and twisted for evil purposes. The dog Miraculous returns for a similar purpose in the episode Adoration, so Vanisher can use it to steal from various people throughout Paris and frame Marinette for the thefts. Bark on the hunt! Whee! Number 17, The Peacock Miraculous. As the other Miraculous found by Gabriel and Emily, the Peacock Miraculous has had its fair share of evil connections. In the episode Ladybug, Myra creates a scented monster who looks identical to Ladybug. The heroes realize she has no control over her actions, until they give her the keychain containing her amok, believing they could give her a life of freedom. However, Myra releases the scented monster from existence, killing a sentient creature with free will. The ability to create and destroy life on a whim makes the Peacock Miraculous a terrible power for a villain to wield. Ladybug, I am my Euro. Number 18, The Butterfly Miraculous. Miraculous Ladybug's story wouldn't be possible without the Butterfly Miraculous having evil purposes. We know from Miraculous World Paris that the Butterfly Miraculous can, with a willing participant, create temporary heroes to fight alongside the Miraculous wielders and help defeat evil. Unfortunately, under Gabriel's control, the Butterfly Miraculous has its powers warped to create dangerous villains spurred on by their negative emotions. Next, Butterfly will lend me the Butterfly Miraculous. Light wings fall. This way? Number 19, The Rabbit Miraculous. The corruption of the Rabbit Miraculous could mean the end of the world. Bunnix explains early on in Time Tagger that maintaining the timeline is a delicate balance. She can't interfere with events or tell someone about the future because it could mean a complete timeline collapse or the creation of alternate universes. That's why, of all the Miraculouses, the one belonging to the rabbit shouldn't fall into the wrong hands if possible. In the episode Evolution, Gabriel tries using the Miraculous to save Emily and nearly alters the history of Ladybug and Cat Noir in the process. So this was a Miraculous? In camouflage mode. Fluff counterclockwise! Number 20, The Eagle Miraculous. So far, the Native American Miracle Box is the only other active source for Miraculouses. From it, Jess becomes the new wielder of the Eagle Miraculous in Miraculous World New York. Initially, the Miraculous ends up in Gabriel's possession, and he loans it to his akumatized villain, Teclanizer, who becomes Miraclanizer when wielding the Miraculous. With his power of liberation, a villain like Miraclanizer can free anyone from the morals holding them back, allowing them to commit terrible acts that they wouldn't even consider if they were of sound mind. Fledgling, all you have to say is Leary, Wings of Liberty! Leary? Wings of Liberty! Although the Miraculouses have the purpose of helping humanity, they have a long history that limits them from always living up to their potential. The Miraculouses don't always have wielders with positive intentions. Gabriel is the most recent example of someone exploiting the Miraculouses' powers to enhance a personal agenda. However, with many seasons ahead, Miraculous Ladybug will undoubtedly find the Kwamis and their powers on the path of villains desperate to use them in the future. What's your name? My name's Daisy, and I'm your Kwame. They'll give you your powers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads.